Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to another episode of Takeover Thursday. I'm Miss Melissa and I'm Miss Anna. And we're coming to you live from the Heatherly Kitchen. Yeah, we're back together again. We are. There was, yeah, some weather situations. Yes. Um, Central Virginia uh, lived under a coat of ice for a while. Um, so that made traveling a little bit of a challenge. Yes, but we're back together. But we're back and together, and it's a beautiful day. It was yes. a beautiful day yesterday. I like had my windows open in the house. Oh, it was I know. so pretty. I was like, I hadn't been outside for the majority of the day, so once I stepped out, I'm used to stepping out and going, Ooh, you know, and I stepped out, I was like, oh, yes. this is glorious. So we're starting, I think, maybe, well. Okay, if it's not going to snow, it needs to be nice. Let's be real. We but lots of rain is coming, boys Ugh. and girls, so. We'll build an arc. But. If you're stuck inside and it's raining, we have things to keep you occupied. Yes. So, boys and girls, what we've done is we've got, we're going to go over a couple of little crafts and things um, that Ann and I have put together. And these crafts are using recycled items. And a lot of these items are coming from um, the packaging for, from the school lunches. So I don't know, um, boys and girls, how many of you participate in that, but different um, Colonial Heights uh, schools, Chesterfield County schools, they provide um, free lunches and snacks and things like that. And so we are incredibly blessed and thankful. Um, our um, our the food services, I'm not sure exactly what that department yeah. is called, but food services. The, the, our, our lunch ladies and lunch, lunch, lunch gentlemen um, that serve the lunches in the schools, they also provide snacks and lunches and things like that for curbside pickup, for virtual learners, um, or for folks that just need a little help. Right. Um, so we have been incredibly blessed by them. Um, they, they started that uh, right at the beginning of COVID, um, and they haven't stopped. No, uh, they haven't. Th those ladies and gentlemen sit outside in the cold, <laughs> and they the sit cold. out in the rain yes. um, to provide the meals. So once the meals come home and you gobble them all up and do what you're going to do, you're left with a lot of little packages and um, containers and things like that, um, which you could just toss in the recycle bin, or you could get crafty. Crafty! We I got love crafty. crafty. I love craftiness. So, so for starters, um, one of the things, cereal. So cereal. boys and girls you get these little cereal bowls. Some of them are round, some of them are more like little octagon shaped. So once the cereal is gone, you are left with the empty container. Um, also, sometimes these little like condiment cups will come home. Um, and in these you'll have like your um, your fruits and your veggies, stuff like that. Yes, we so, have broccoli and tomatoes recently. Um, grapes, these are big, yes, big on grapes. grapes. Um, so what I will sometimes use these for in the house too is, is a condiment cup. So like once the fruit and stuff is gone, you, this is great for like ketchup and stuff. Oh, Fill that's it up. so smart. And it has little lids. So if you want to yep. like send it to work or school or yep. snack. Little snack. Um, but if you take this empty container and this empty container and you glue them together and then paint them, paint. this then becomes something like this. Oh. So a beautiful little trinket container or like if it didn't have the jewels on it, maybe like Lego guys or like coins yes. or keys or and something like that. you can like color that. or paint it any color you yeah, want. Yeah, this is, this is just, this was my preference. I got a little fancy and then I got out the jewels and then I just got oh, a little carried away. But of it course. didn't originally have jewels, but things got, things got crazy. Um, but that, you know, or desk supplies, things like that. So anyway, fun little thing there. Um, and then show me something that you've done. Okay, so mine didn't come from the schools. Mine came from my house, but we get our juice packets to make juice for the kids in these. And so is what I did is I ripped the label off and it has this lid and the lid stays on really good and you can either paint it or color it and look I used the tape what is this called electrical tape no washi tape oh washi okay washi tape anyway so I made that and I colored it and I have stickers and all sorts of stuff and then you open it up and you can put markers in it this one has colored pencils um, I use them a lot for dog treats. Ooh, so like the if, Yes, and when we're like out and about with the dog, it's very easy to keep the lid on and you throw it in your bag or whatever. And dog treats. But you can keep anything, kind of like your cup. You can put Lego men or so many things in here and the lid stays on yeah, here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And you can decorate it anyways. You can draw on it. I was going to do some decoupage where you take um, the you glue and mix it with a little bit of water and then you cut out pictures from magazines or you can even use like real pictures and then you coat it on there and you can decorate it like any way you want. Very personalized. Stickers. Or, ooh, or you could add jewels. Oh, jewels. Definitely. I mean, I had 
How fancy uh, do you want to be? bear and dog stickers. So, yes. Excellent. So, um, staying in line with uh, our potential um, school supply organization. Yes. Um, I'm going to move this little fella here. All right. I don't know if the Pastor Eric's behind the camera. Can he see this? Maybe kind of. Okay. So, boys and girls, the, this is a collection of milk cartons. Same milk thing. Milk cartons? Yes. Those little milk cartons. Some chocolate milk. Some of the um, the, the regular white milk. Um, lots of milk cartons that we see. Um, oh, come so home, many milk they cartons. come home for, for um, snacks and lunches. So, what I did was I cut the tops off of them in several different sizes. You might have to have an adult help you with that. Yes. You will want to have an adult have help you. will have to use really sharp scissors. Um, and then, as far as like picking colors, you pick any. This is all glued together. So... This is an entire set of milk cartons that have been painted, cut, glued together, and now we have a desk organizer. It, you can use this for toys, you can use this for jewelry, for coinage, all of the fun things. Yes. And I love your little, her little clippies have faces emoji faces. Them. They're emoji faces. They're so and then cool. another milk carton thing. So this, you know, if it was dark, you'd be able to see, but this is actually a little lantern. So I've got a little, um, the little, pretend candle in there and this is a milk carton it should have been cut a little cut opening for the candle poke some little holes in it put it in hang it yes. so with all of the milk cartons and there's a lot of them you know what you I decorate like an entire I tree just had an idea if you cut a hole on this side like this and then cut another hole all the way around like this you could put a little bit of bird seed in it yep. and hang it outside and make a cute little bird seed Older theater thingy. Yep. That's so cute. So again, not very difficult to do, not expensive to do, and you're recycling. This is also And I bet if you didn't trash. have paint, you could probably use markers you to can. color it or crayons, colored pencils. Yep. Or um you could also glue jewels to it. But you know, oh, we're all about the jewels. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. Jewels. We love jewels. All right, what's next from you, okay. Anna? So I, this is one thing that I personally do every year, okay? So I have a milk, I mean, no, this is not milk. This is an egg carton, okay? And I just ripped the top off. And this is a cardboard one. You can't do this with the styrofoam ones because you're actually going to plant bees in the ground, okay? Like so, the carton goes in the ground? Yes, so okay. you have to use the cardboard one and you can just set it in top here, okay? And then you're gonna take some dirt. This is actually um, potting soil designed for plants but they have some for vegetables or depends on what you're doing and you're just going to put dirt inside all of these little egg holder things is okay that what they're called egg holders i don't know anyway so as you can see it's full of dirt and then so that says 12 starters really. yes and so i have watermelon and peas okay mm. so i like vegetables we have a garden every year but you can use like plants or flowers or whatever you want and then you're just going to take a seed and you're gonna push it into each one of these little holes, okay? I mean, I, sorry, Miss Anna. Um, I don't know that I've ever seen a pea seed before. Um, they, but they're like they're peas. They're actual peas. They're <laughs> peas. I'm like really excited right now. Yes, you just plant a seed and get a get a seed. get a pea. Yes. So, <laughs> and then these are watermelon, and you can buy these. These were four for a dollar at Home Depot. So the these are really are not that expensive. Yeah. And then these are watermelon seeds. Did you know that watermelon seeds are literally the seeds the, the, out of the watermelon? Look at that. Eat? Now so, that one I did know, but I did not, I guess I never really thought that peas were peas. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to put, like I said, the plants in here, and then you're gonna make sure that they're all covered up with the dirt, okay? Okay. Now is what, it's kind of cold to be planting these outside, so is what you're going to do is you're gonna keep them inside, and you just want to make sure that they stay watered and then in a sunny place. So in a windowsill or somewhere where in your house it gets really a lot of sun. Okay. And you just keep them wet and then in about a week you're going to start to see little plants. All right. And then once it is warm enough in the spring, you can cut apart each one of these and literally take it and plant the whole thing in the ground. Oh, that's because awesome. this breaks down. Yeah, so because it's cardboard, it will actually break down in the roots of the plants will be able to grow out of it into the actual ground or the bigger pot or whatever you plant it into. And so it's a great way to start your vegetable garden inside and you're recycling. And that takes up a lot of room in the trash can. It really does. <laughs> so now so, it doesn't. And then um, 
if you want when you water these, it's gonna get a little wet. So you're gonna have to put them on like a plate a or tray or something. Tray or something. Okay. But yeah. Cool. Um, so one other thing, again, back to the cereal container. Um, once this cereal has been eaten and you're left with the cup, um, you can use the cup. You can use the cup for so many things. But this was another little little creation. This is. This is my little jellyfish friend. I love um, your jellyfish. So the cup was um, emptied, cleaned out, um, and then little holes were poked all around the bottom where we could put our um, jellyfish our I bet arms. You could use yarn, you ribbon, use, like, all kinds of things. Um, I did not finish the back. Um, time got away from me, but you don't have to do as many holes. You can do fewer. Um, and then again, we've got him tied to a little string. He'd be weighted out a little bit better if the back were on. And boom, jellyfish. I love it. So all the cute things, all the fun things, all the recycling things. Yes. So. Being thankful, being good stewards. So we're, we're thankful for um, yes. the goodies um, and the nourishment and the sustenance that come in these containers. Um, and then we're thankful for, like, this came with nutritious yes. food in it already. Now you're going to grow nutritious yeah, food out of it. Yes. Um, so boys and girls, we just wanted to remind you to be thankful for the things that, that come your way. Um, let's try to reduce, reuse, and recycle a yes. little bit. Yes, right? and if you boys and girls try any of these or have any other ideas of what to do of different um, items that you found in your house, put have your mom or dad take a picture and put it on our Facebook page because we, we would love, love that. to see love all it. the things. And all the other boys and girls would get to see it too. And if you have jewels, um, jewels can go on anything. Um, Maybe, I don't know about the plants. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But but jewels. you're going to plant this, so probably not on my planter thing. Okay? But everything else. Jewels. Um, jewels. And if you need jewels, I have a lot of them. I'm just saying. Oh, my gosh. All right, boys and girls, so that's it for us today. Wait. Oh. Do you know what starts on mm. Monday? A little birdie told me. Y'all, wind-shaped camps are coming to Colonial Heights. That's right. So registration for Windshape Camp starts Monday, March 1st. Camp is July 5th through the 9th. So all of the details are coming down the pike. Um, where, when, how much, all that jazz. Now, a big thing happening Sunday. I heard a at the Heights about campus. This. Yep. So it is what we call kickoff week. Um, and that's where we're getting excited about registration opening. So Sunday before each uh, before each service and during the services, um, myself, Pastor Eric, Miss Anna, um, a couple of our um, friends out at Chick Fil A are going to come and join I us. Love Chick Fil A. Um, they're they're going to join us in the concourse. We're going to be giving away prizes. We're going to be um, there's a, a big wheel that you can spin to win the prizes. We're going to be talking about camp. We're going to answer all the questions about camp. Super super stoked to kick off. What is going to be the best summer ever? Um, you cannot stop the excitement um, when it comes to camp um, for us. This is a huge deal. We're super excited that we're able to offer this this year. So Sunday, if you are in person and you can come and see us in the concourse, great. If not, you can catch a lot of that information online. Um, and then Monday, 9 a.m. Monday, March 1st at 9 a.m. is when registration opens online. So all of those details are coming coming at you. You will definitely want to register early. It is beneficial Wait. to you for sure. Yes. What about if... All the boys and girls wore their windshape stuff on Sunday. Yes. If you have attended windshape in the past and you have any windshape swag, you've got any of your bandoras, your hats, your sunglasses. The your, sleeve um, things? Yes. The sleeve things were huge. Um, your village shirt. So even if you might you might not be in that village, you might have gone up and moved up a village. That's fine. You can still represent the village that you were in last. Um, Landon is no longer in Oceans, but Oceans will always be a really special spot for me. So we're huge Ocean fans in my house. You might see me rocking some of the Ocean. Ocean. See, we can't. Yeah. Snacks in my bag. Snacks in my bag. Okay, so it, it, it's it's starting. Like, Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so anyway, boys and girls, enjoy the rest of your week. If you have any questions, concerns, issues, anything regarding wind shape, the craft, anything coming down the pike, give us a holler and we'll see you soon. Yes, have a good week. Bye.